Welcome to the Apex. I'm your host, Zell. And as always, we've got a whole load of news. Well, maybe not always. Last week, we didn't have a lot. That's basically because I touched down here huh, in Missouri and uh, turned around and went back to Texas. And we'll talk about that here in a minute. But first up, let's get to our highlighted content. And this week, it is Staza23. He has the TRM Knives Neutron Prototype. First, I want to say I'm a little upset with Staza23. While we were at Blade Show, he made it to the uh, TRM booth before I did. And because he did that, he was able to talk Marianne out of the Neutron. Now, that's okay. Because the Neutron is a Viator with a liner lock. Yes, that thin, super slicey little blade with a liner lock. So I'm actually pretty excited about the Neutron. And guys, keep watch on Three Rivers Manufacturing, TRM. Uh, they've got Carl coming. They've got the Neutron coming. And they are doing things in their own way a little bit different. Really slicey, everyday carry blades. Uh, that might be overlooked by some people, but guys, don't overlook them. If you can get your hands on one, give it a shot. Watch the videos. They are super slicey blades that are just, uh, well, like I said, they're a little different, and they're going to be, that not going to be, they are excellent slicers, excellent everyday carry knives, don't weigh much. The machining, the manufacturing, the interchangeability of scales, all that kind of stuff is just amazing and just really a great deal. Uh, so you're going to want to watch that video that Staz has got, and you're going to want to keep track of TRM because that's some interesting stuff. And now on to our blog and print news from The Cutting Edge and also an article from Knife News about spring-assisted knives may now be illegal in New York State. All right, and I'm not going to go into all the minutia of this but basically there was a court case it's went to a higher court and the higher court has struck it down now i don't know if they're going to continue up the court system but uh for now it looks like your uh speed safe kershaws and the such like may be not legal in uh new york state and may be considered a uh switchblade uh my suggestion is either get the heck out of New York, why are you there anyhow, or, uh, yeah, and I understand, some of you love the place and some of you have work there that uh, pays extremely well, but if you have to be in New York or want to be in New York, get with your knife rights organization and try to get something done. I know they've been working on New York for a long time, but it's going to take more than just putting leg legislation up there. It's going to take a turnover of your politicians, and uh, this silliness has just got to go. I mean, I, I don't like to get into any political stuff, but, I mean, come on, guys. We're talking about knives here. We're not... <coughs> we're not talking about nuclear reactors. We're not talking about anything else crazy. But, uh, anyhow, I can talk too long on that. We're going to go on. Also from Knife News, we have Knife Enthusiast Crowdfund's first Boulder project, and it's actually a pretty neat looking knife. You'll want to go check that one out. And DPX Gear is answering the call for the Hest F Urban with a flipper. Hmm, that could be interesting. And they also have some pictures in the article of the new Chris Reeves slip joint. Uh, I got to look at that one, and I have to tell you that I was not thoroughly impressed. You know, maybe I need to get another refresh on it, but hmm. I just wasn't thoroughly impressed to begin with. We'll see what Chris Reeve does with it. They have a tendency to do neat things, so we'll see what happens. And now, let's jump into video. And from the birds, they got more Blade Show in their IV. They've got our Blade Show recap for 2018. And they've got the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog in Dama Steel. Ooh, that one ought to be good. And Kevin Cleary brings us the best knives of Blade Show 2018. Blade Centered. Uh, comes up with the Spiderco Pancheco, and I'm probably, you guys know I can't pronounce anything, but anyhow, the dog tag folder, and that is a knife that I have had in my cart, 
I don't know, dozens of times, and I have never pulled the trigger on, and I don't know why, because it is just such a cool little knife, and Blade Center will tell you about it. And then from Slicey Dicey, uh, he's got the Wee Wasabi. And I have a Wasabi around here. I think it's out in the truck. But that is uh, not a knife for me. But it comes in Brian Speck. And if you don't know what Brian Speck is, go watch the Wasabi review. He'll explain it to you. And uh, for those of you that like that style of knife, it's going to be a great one. It's Wee Action. A uh, great uh, little ergonomic package and big worn cliff blade. Pretty neat. Like I said, not so much for me, but for those of you that like that style of design, oh my goodness, I mean, go watch uh, Slicey's review and Staz's whenever we get to it. Those guys are just in love with the thing. And I don't blame them. Uh, and then he also has a Benchmade 486 Saibu Great American Japanese, great American and Japanese collaboration. Uh, that's another one of those that I'm not a huge fan of. It's the aesthetics for me. But if Benchmade has got the uh, QC down on that one, I could become interested very quickly. And also, Dr. Frucky brings us Knives I Scored at Blade Show 2018. And you're going to want to watch that one because, well, you know, Dr. Frucky got some cool stuff. Because, well, he's Dr. Frunky. And Staza23, of course, he's got his first impressions of the Wii Wasabi. We already talked about that. And this guy also got a hold of a Reinhold Rhino. Yeah. I don't know what it is about Staza. But he seems to be in the right place at the right time to get the stuff. So he has his first impressions of the Reinhold Rhino. And, of course, the TRM uh, Neutron that you've got to go watch. That's why it's highlighted content. If you go over to the website, if I don't goof it up, you should be able to uh, see it embedded right there on the website. So it'll be the video will be there on the page with the show notes. I try to do that with the highlighted videos when I don't goof it up. <laughs> uh, also, from Shortcut Reviews, we have the Mech Army X4. Not a knife. Review. Uh, neat little flashlight. You're going to want to see that one. I like all these neat little lights. In fact, I've got one here on the desk we'll be looking at soon. It's the I1R EOS from Olight. Really neat little light. I have a couple of quibbles with it, but still super neat. And EDC Gear Reviews brings us the best tech knives, Starfighter and Grampus. Love the look of the Starfighter, the ergonomics of the Starfighter, and everything except for the fact that it bit me on camera. Yeah, that's why I don't have one anymore. But uh, still a super cool knife. And the Grampus, a properly named knife, because it has that old-timey look with all the modern amenities on the inside. So it's kind of like one of these Resto Mod cars, where on the outside, it looks like a 66 Chevelle. But underneath, it's all 2018 ZR1 Camaro or VET or whatever. And that, my friends, is super cool. Uh, and Cedric... And Ada Gear and Outdoors. Pete brings us a whole bunch of Unleashed and To the Max reviews. And, you know, I hadn't really thought about it until Pete started doing these. <coughs> a long time ago, I thought, well, I'll do some of these cut tests. Well, you guys know that I sharpen with a Wicked Edge or I sharpen with a uh, KME. So, on most of the thinner blades, I had been doing 15 degree bevels with... 18 or 20 degree micro bevels and I sat down one night with some uh, D2 and OS8 and I worked my way through the OS8. Oh my god, I, I had way over 100 cuts with the OS8. I was like, holy crap, this just can't be right. But I soldiered on with the D2 and I got through to, I don't know, it was like getting close to 200 cuts with the D2 and I made a mistake with the camera and didn't get it turned on and I was like oh well hell and uh, scrapped the whole thing but these uh, Unleashed to the Max videos really explain that and why that happens. He'll tell you about it in some of them what he's doing. He's laying the bevels back putting little micro bevels on there and Pete has the stamina to do all those cuts so 
we'll let him do it and we'll all watch and enjoy and there's i don't know about four maybe five of those and uh, they're all worth the watch and jt's knife life brings us the best tech goblin you guys know that i love that little knife it's just such a super cool little blade and epic snuggle bunny brings us a look at the isham blade works black star all right i got to handle that guy at blade show elijah had one uh, we talked about it a little bit and i'm still not the 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 way he did the slip joint is not my preferred method but elijah has pulled it off that little slip joint whenever it comes to market is going to be one of the coolest little slip joints in a long time the best part of it is it has a rather intricate design it has a flipper but elijah has taken cues from the past and added in his flare to give you an understated knife with a big clip point well it's not big but looks big compared to the handle clip point blade in just a great package and i i don't remember exactly what the cost is going to be but i remember thinking wow that's pretty freaking reasonable so i think the black star is going well i know it's going to be a hit and uh go check out what the snuggle bunny has to say about it and then a uh, eugene kwan i just love saying that I have to put more of his videos in here. But anyhow, just so I can say that. Anyhow, his dashboard review number 62, the Riot Knives Jack. And Eugene, you got it, buddy. That's another one. I went around and I talked to uh, Sheriff Fang and David Ding, and I looked at that knife, the one that Eugene has. And I had to contemplate on it. This is a lesson, folks. This is a lesson. If you're at Blade Show... And a company like Riot has only brought three, four, five, or less of a knife. You don't contemplate. If it's something you think you want, you just buy it. Because whenever I went back over to talk to uh, David again and Shara, uh, wasn't there. There were a couple other ones there. But I wanted one that has the uh, crush or uh, whatever carbon fiber, shred carbon fiber that Eugene got. And it is a super cool knife. You guys need to go get a look at it. Eugene will tell you all about it. And the Koning Knives Mini Goblin, Goblin from House of Wisdom. Uh, this is a new one from Koenig. And uh, I forget who it's uh, with. But uh, guy over at House of Wisdom, he'll tell you about it. And it is it's a cool knife. I, I need to get the price on that one. I've forgotten. But still... Super cool little knife. And from Canadian Cutting Edge, we've got the Paladin and the Starfighter, again from Best Tech. And uh, the Paladin, that is a... That's a pretty cool knife. I like the blade on that one a whole lot. And then Simple Little Life gives us a responding to mean YouTube comments. You can go watch that one. Super cool. I love it whenever Jeremy does stuff like that. Because uh, some of the words he uses, some of those... I don't know if they're Jeremy words or Canadian words, but they just crack me up. And then uh, we have two companies that went out and did a lot of video at Blade Show. First one was Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And I have linked their highlight reel and their highlights part one. If I remember correctly, you can see my mug in the highlights part one if you'd like to. And Blade HQ also did a bunch of video the one that i have linked is the new wee knives and you can see a lot of my mug and zach's mug in there you know the beards in that video if you'd like to watch it and uh then from our own channel right here these are youtube channel we have what's inside the best tech thorn and that's one of those 12c27 knives we do a little discussing of the 12c27 in one of those two videos because the second one is the best tech Thorn review and then we have the ween knife company bullet and uh also my blade show haul and uh i got some pretty good ones of blade show you'll have to go check that one out and guys i have talked all the way to the end here and i didn't tell you why i was in texas last weekend okay we got a request from a knife company 
to bring out another Todd Knife and Tool design. So, my brother Seth hopped into the CAD and uh, whipped up the design. And I say whipped up a design. He spent several hours designing the Risty. And I'm going to put Risty right here in front of my face so that you guys can see it. And I'll talk about it a little bit and how we got to the point that you're seeing there. So, I got down to Houston on late Friday evening. We had a little bit of dinner and set to work. And uh, by s late Sunday afternoon, evening, we had a prototype that is pretty much done except for grinding the blade. And uh, we would have got that done, but we had... There's this, this terrible thing called heat treat. One of the most important things about the knife, but also one of the most time-consuming things. And uh, we did the prototype in 440C uh, from Crucible, I believe. And uh, if you follow that heat treat properly, it's a several-hour affair. And while the blades and heat treat, of course, you can't do anything. But uh, that will be taken care of sometime soon. And the Risty is a knife that you will see sometime late this fall or early next spring. And I will put a picture of its namesake right here in front of me as well. That is my dog, Risty, who uh, passed away. It's getting close to two years ago now. And uh, it'll be the second in the Big Dog Knife series. And uh, you guys have that have been with me for a long time. You've seen Risty before. She's made it into some of the videos. And this knife will be her namesake. So, really cool stuff going on. Todd Knife and Tool Knives coming at you. Uh, starting later this year and into next summer so far. And we'll see where it goes from there. Appreciate all the support, guys. Uh, it has been... I know it's been a long road. You guys have been seeing Todd Knife and Tool stuff for over two years and uh, for the past well over a year I've known stuff was in the works and I couldn't talk about it it's actually been oh probably tougher for me than for you because man I wanted to let you all know but whenever you don't have everything set in absolute stone yet I didn't want to get you guys excited even though I was excited anyhow guys you have a wonderful day don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you next time. Also, <clears throat> if you are watching the podcast or listening to the podcast and you would like to see those knives, check out the Todd Knife and Tool Instagram and the Zelric 42 Instagram. There are uh, several pictures and videos on those Instagram accounts of the uh, Risty as she was getting made. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you next time.